Hey everybody, we just released a new update which is all about drone racing and we're recording a quick video to show you all the new things that we added. So here on the overview screen you can travel to two new locations. First off the Versus Arena and second off the Racing Ring. We're gonna head into the Racing Ring right now. The racing mode offers a variety of tracks, each with its own challenges. And in the leaderboard you can compare your own times to those of other players. You can choose to race in manual mode or in autonomous mode. In the manual mode you have to really control your drones and are not allowed to attach any autonomous parts. And the autonomous mode is quite the opposite where you can only attach autonomous parts and are not allowed to control your drone manually. Let's start with the manual race. For the new update we of course added some new drone parts, for example the afterburner, which you can see in action when I head over to the new test environment we added for the racing. So with the afterburner, if you reach a certain velocity, your drone gets even faster, but you, as you can see, it's also quite hard to control and needs quite a bit of practice until you master this new part. So now, even though we're not super well prepared, let's head over to the actual race and see how we do. Let's go! So you see the afterburner activated now, depending on which track you are on, there will also be some additional obstacles like boosters or also some areas which you should not enter because they can damage you. <laughs> I guess this attempt wasn't too successful, but well. Let's head over to a different track and try out the autonomous race. Another very important new drone part is the VTOL thruster, which you can add to your drone and set so that it will automatically follow the track. Actually, let's add a couple of them, that will help us a lot. And let's head right into the race and see how we will do. Again, in this mode, I'm not pressing any keys on my keyboard, I just have to watch and see how my autonomous drone does. <laughs> and as you can see, it doesn't do the best of jobs to actually keep on track. But as it is with all things in Nimbatus, you go through <laughs> quite a few iterations <laughs> until you reach a point where you're satisfied with your result. Now let's head over and try our luck in the Versus Arena. If you played the game before, you already know the Sumo mode. In this update, we added some cool new features to it, where you can enter the training, select a specific drone from your opponent, and train against it to see if you're actually prepared for the tournament. Next off, we're heading into the Versus Race mode. So now I took the time and actually tried to build a drone that can compete, so let's see how it fares. Our drone is the little one on the top, let's see how it fares against this slightly bigger drone. We have both Vito thrusters and afterburners. Ooh, that's very close, come on, you can do it! Yes, no, don't drive into those. Yeah, very good, oh no, it's in the damage area, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Okay, 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 we'll be very close, we're getting, no, no, come on, little drone, you can do it! No. Yes, push me! Nice! Yes, we won! Last but not least is the catch mode, which is quite hardcore, even more hardcore than the Zumo mode. And it requires quite a few logic and autonomous parts in order to win. So, in order to explain to you the rules of catch, I can use this brand new feature which is available in all the versus modes, which allows me to slow down time. So in catch, you're basically trying to reach these targets. And if one is reached, it's moved to another location and then we race to that again. And whoever hits it first gets a point. You can see that the opponent already has two points. And the game goes up to five points and whoever reaches more of those five points wins. So you can see we didn't have a chance here, but you get the concept. After checking out all the modes, Let's take a look at this beauty, which is composed of all the new drone parts that we added. You already know the afterburner and the VTOL thruster. Along with the VTOL thruster comes the position tracker, which can be used as a target for the VTOL thruster. We have these new sphere parts, and you can now also change the plating of parts, which can be very useful in racing mode. Over there we have the holo block, which can be added for quite a few things. You can for example add small blocks in there, which can be quite useful for stability. We have the TNT block, and yes, you can now change the radius of it, as our community requested. And over here we have the proximity sensor, and you can change the angle, range, and the detection level. 
And that's it for this update. Thank you all for watching and we'll be back with more soon. Bye!